just resituated the girls um, chicken coop a little bit to make it a little bit more warm for them because it has been freezing lately. So I'll show you what I did real quick. So I changed the extension cord. It was over there where the heater was and I ran it across so that they could have their heater next to their nesting box. And I'll show you what I did with their nesting box. By the way, this little ball is like, it's been the funniest thing. Put your food in there and then they peck away at it. They're so funny, they got it for Christmas. So yeah, this was their nesting box, but it's flipped upside down. So now it's being held up next to the other nesting box, which is just the milk crate. And it's gonna be more cozy. And now I've got their heat lamp next to the nesting box and their water because their water keeps freezing. So hopefully this will help out with them. That's their situation right now. So hopefully they'll be more cozy. All right, girls, y'all have fun. I wasn't home all day yesterday. So uh, the poor little chickens have been in their coop. Well, their coop's pretty big, so it's okay. But they've been in there all day yesterday and I know that there's probably a ton of eggs, so let's go see. Sorry, girls. Y'all come on out. Hi. I know, I'm so sorry. Y'all go have some fun. Do y'all like your little house? Wow, girls. Good for y'all. Water is not frozen, so that's good. The heater's helping. This one's frozen though. That's okay. We got still got some water. Y'all go have fun. Meet a puppy. Yeah, puppy. Yeah, puppy. You ready to see a puppy? Say puppy. No. Puppy. puppy. <laughs> to find all of these feathers everywhere found all of these feathers and I could not find any of the chickens and I thought for sure Betty was 
dead somewhere. Something had eaten her. But I found her all cowered down and huddled up. I mean, look, there's feathers over there, too. Feathers. And she's fine. She's cut on her leg, and I've got to bandage her up. But I cannot find my other three. They are out here somewhere. it a whole lot but she did just let me clean it and we put some neosporin on it and some spray I'm assuming she just doesn't like being wet <laughs> she's trying to shake it all off yeah okay <clears throat> she's at least eating now we got some bread and orzo in there for her Poor girl. I found another wound underneath her wing. So I just sprayed under there. Just hoping that she doesn't get any kind of infection. Fingers crossed. She's acting like she's in good spirits though. So I don't think she feels bad. Okay, so obviously my plans are to make a long run off of our chicken coop eventually but right now I don't have anything so from here I want to have something that they can do that's similar to this but for right now I'm not using my greenhouse tunnel so I cut off some right here and I'm gonna put it on the outside of here so whenever it's cold nights she'll stay warm but for right now she can use this as her little run there's still some airflow in there at the bottom it's not completely you know to the ground but at least she gets to be in the grass for right now she's still healing and i'm probably going to get some older girls to come hang out with her before introducing a new flock to her but hoping that she completely comes uh gets through this this is the first time that she's been in grass since the incident which now we have learned. It's most likely a fox that did the damage and not a hawk.
a bird net to go around the greenhouse while me and the dogs are out here with them. This is as far as they're gonna get until we can build a more permanent run. But I've got baby chicks coming this week. So this is gonna have to do. Think, baby chicks. Did you fall? Oh, you fell in the water. Yeah, you're stuck? Oh no! <laughs> you fall in the fire? I'm just watching y'all. Oh, <laughs> man.